Hi guys and welcome. Um, so today I basically just wanted to carry you guys along my bulk cooking, what I do for my family. Um, <laughs> I guess you said I'm already five meals ahead already, but I just thought I was about to make another meal of bulk cooking and I was like, why don't I just show you a video and just show you guys what I do. So I am a mom of three and I have a six month old baby. And then if you add my husband to it, it makes it I'm a mom of four um because literally my husband's my first born so yeah um so i wanted to carry you guys along what i do in terms of bulk cooking because it has really been helping me a lot and this is the most amount of bulk cooking i have ever 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 done i'm starting off by making beans and the type of beans i'm making is beans mixed with plantain um and i'm gonna add my sauce i'm gonna fry that separately and add it in together You guys this palm oil I have never in my entire life had palm oil like this before in my life like just look at this just look at this look at this mess can somebody just tell me what is going on because why even after that like it made a huge mess and even after that I added my onions it was still forming I was not understanding look this palm oil gave me so much headache I'm never ever gonna buy it again never La, it is done. That's it. And here I am just packing everything away that I've just cooked and storing it, getting ready to store it in the freezer. As you guys can see, I've got 16 takeaway containers of beans. Um, and I'm going to put them in the freezer now. Okay. Okay. So this is what uh, my freezer currently looks like. I have two freezers. That one is for uncooked stuffs. So all my uncooked things are in there. Um, meat, fish, all of that is in there. And this freezer is for ready to eat foods. So things to go straight into the oven and already cooked meal. So this is what I currently have at the moment. I've just quickly arranged I'm going to bring my beans in now and stack it up. Okay, so this is what it looks like at the moment with the beans added to it. I'm going to leave it like this for now. And then tomorrow I will rearrange things around because of the stew that I'm going to be making tomorrow. So that I can accommodate space for it. But for now, this is what it's looking like. And I'm really proud of myself. Yay! So tomorrow... 
um, we will do the stew. So today is stew day. Um, that's the only thing I'm making, just normal regular stew. We haven't had that in a long time. So this bowl cooking that I'm currently doing here, it actually lasted us for about two months, two and a half months. Daddy in the kitchen. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Yeah. This should be enough for the boys. A bit too much. That's for the boys, yeah? yeah. Making breakfast for the boys. This angle makes me look really small. <laughs> oh, baby, you are small. <laughs> One of your customers is ready for food. Yeah, yes, Daniel. Spice King. <laughs> oh my gosh, let me put this down. Chef Chef. <laughs> chef Mayaki. I think we are good. That's it. That's um, it. Pan is still hot, so it'll still be cooking, still but you don't want it dry. Yeah. yeah. Still want a bit of juicy. Yeah. I think that's it. Okay. Not, not too much oil, just enough. Yes, chef. <laughs> chef chef. <laughs> So that's for the boys. Use your two hands. Use your two hands. Use your two hands. What do you say? Okay. I'm only showing myself cooking three dishes, which is what I was able to capture. In total, I probably had like 10, nine, no, yeah, definitely 10 dishes in total that I had stacked up. Um, in the freezer different types of dishes so the, I like to just stock a lot of things in the freezer um, just so that there's different varieties and different options um, for everyone to pick from because the whole ideology behind this is I don't want to cook 
after this. <laughs> I have kids, so you know, just to make sure that there's food in the house, and you know, not every night, not every day, having to stand, stay up in the kitchen, um, and having to cook something. Whereas with this, just pick a container out of the freezer, you know, warm it up. Um, and then just make if it's rice cook your white rice or if it's a swallow meal that we're going for make your swallow and you know the soup is already ready it makes being in the kitchen so much quicker it, at least maximum 15 20 minutes you're only going to be in the kitchen cooking your white rice or making your swallow whatever the case might be but with this literally it, it's honestly a lifesaver i mean I remember back in the day, um, I always wanted to have fresh food every now and then. I like the ideology behind bulk cooking. I didn't really settled in yet for me. And I think it was probably by the time I had my second son was when I realized we can't believe in this lifestyle anymore. This lifestyle is not happening. It's not working. So, you know, this definitely makes things a lot more easier and a lot more better especially within the family life and within the family set you know it's like you for me personally i i take my time in cooking the food like for instance i did this i, I believe it took me two weeks to complete the entire dish that i was cooking because of my baby so one day i will cook the following day i won't cook anything i'll use it to rest or clean up the next day after that i will cook the following day after that i will clean up and rest so i did that back and forth for uh, two weeks like i said until all the dishes that i had in mind um, to cook was completely done um, what i normally do as well is i would have a list of the dishes that I want to cook and I will just put them up on my fridge or anywhere in the kitchen so that as I'm cooking one thing I'm taking it off I'm taking it off and I know what's left for me to cook it's a really great you know way to um, you know keep yourself focused and to keep yourself properly well organized as well um, so that you stick to what you're actually cooking and don't start thinking okay no maybe I'm not gonna cook that today maybe I'll cook something else but with this it really really does help like I said and I'm, I'm able to stay on top of things and also able to stay on top of the things within the house within the family as well Okay, you guys, so this is what I got with the pot. Um, so I've got about five containers, as you guys can see. They're all in different sizes, but I got five in total. So this should last us a while as well. And it tastes absolutely amazing. Definitely book us you. <laughs> okay, you guys, so this is the last dish that I'm going to be cooking in this video and it is our all-time favorite f roll. Guys, look at this oil again. <laughs> look at this oil again. Oh, did you know what? Yeah, after the first time that this palm oil did me wrong, <laughs> as you saw in the previous clips, listen, that's when I realized that this oil gets going, going for head because it's not a normal one. I look. <laughs> I, I, yeah I, now that i know what brand of oil it is i definitely stay away away I've, I've never used it again let's just say that i'm not gonna mention what brand it is but let's just i know what what palm oil brand i i definitely will never ever ever use again in my entire life
can only imagine you know when you spend so much money and you especially me who like to who likes bulk shopping i buy things in bulk and then only to far realize that i spent my money on that and it's not really something that you can really go back out and be like oh i'm gonna go and buy another one in which economy <laughs> um so yeah it pained me oh it pained me i'm not gonna lie it pained me but i had to do what i had to do you know you gotta cook you can't just stop meat cooking and say no because of one thing like that you're not going to cook for your family so i got on with it and i did what i had to do Just look at that deliciousness. Oh my goodness. And slowly but surely, we're finally coming to the end of this video. If you guys watch this video all the way to this point, I am absolutely and truly grateful to you guys. I can definitely say that by watching this video back, because this was months ago, my cooking style has definitely, definitely changed and improved. And I can't wait to show you guys more of the things that I've cooked recently. Um, but until then, stay blessed and I will definitely see you guys in my next video. Bye! Right, you guys so from that effort reroll i ended up having 20 takeaway plates um this is the amount that i have um and i'm really happy with it